Good evening guys, welcome to tonight's video. So I want to do one more video on Neat because I love it and I think it's very, very underrated. Um, I'm not going to go over all the points from the other two videos so you can feel free to go and check those out. I'm going to highlight a couple of points from those which I think are the most significant of all in that basically Neat can compromise 15 to 50% of your total daily energy expenditure which is huge, especially when physical activity normally like the gym etc uh, is anywhere between 15 and 30 um, another one is that being lean does not offset the damage of excess sitting. So it doesn't matter how lean you are, you still should move if you want to be healthy. And finally, which I think is a big one, is that once you lose 10% of your body weight, so if, say for example, make the numbers easy for myself, you were 200 pounds and you've lost 20 pounds, 70% of the adaptive thermogenesis comes from energy expenditure. Basically, uh, adaptive thermogenesis is essentially what your body, body does, the adaptions it makes to make you stop losing more weight. Okay, And 70% of that below 10%, if you've lost over 10% of your body weight, comes from energy expenditure and activity expenditure. So if you want to carry on losing weight after losing 10% of your body weight, Neat and activity is huge. It's something that should be a huge focus if you want to carry on losing weight, okay? So there's just a quick few points, but go back, check the other two videos out for more in-depth about that. What I want to talk about tonight is another thing that I've noticed with me, which is calorie deficits and neat. So basically, um, my BMR plus my... So basically, to get your maintenance for the day and how many calories you should eat a day, you do your BMR and you times that by an activity level, okay? So, I'm gonna give you an example of me. So, for me, if I was sedentary, say 5,000 less steps, uh, less than 5,000 steps a day, times that by my BMR, it would come out about 2,400 calories. I am very active, so up to 20,000 steps a day, and that means I can times my uh, BMR by a higher level, because I'm doing more. And basically, that means that my maintenance at the moment comes out at 3,200. That's an 800 calorie difference just because I'm more active, okay? Now, what this means is that I'm currently in about a 700 calorie a day deficit, which means I'm eating about 2,500 calories. If I was to do that same 700 calorie deficit with a very low activity level, that would mean I'd be eating about 1,700 calories a day, which would be extremely difficult for me to do, okay? So basically, the higher activity level, the higher NEAT, basically allows me to eat more food, more total calories for the day, whilst being in a greater deficit. So essentially, I can eat more food whilst losing more weight, because basically, I do more activity in the day. Okay, And I think that's such, such an important point to make about NEAT and why it can be so great for losing weight. Okay. Now, another one uh, sort of thing that I want to touch on is that when we say, you know, be more active, people are like, right, I need to go to the gym more, I need to go to the gym more. But it can be very difficult to go to the gym more because people may already be doing all that they can do in the gym. And it's a lot easier for you to add steps to your day, to add activity to your day than it is to go for a, to the gym for another hour a day, okay? It's a lot easier for you to add in, say, two to 5,000 steps walking around your office and finding ways to implement ways that you can get more steps in around your day than it is to say, right, I need to go to the gym for another hour, okay? So it can be a lot easier for you to add these small steps in than it is to go, right, I'm going to go to the gym for another hour, okay? And that can add up big time. And it's one of these where it's like these small insignificant difference, differences seem so small, you know, they accumulate over a long period of time. They can make a huge, huge difference, you know, the difference, um, it's been shown that the difference of NEAT, so the different, differing levels of NEAT between people, can basically explain how likely somebody is to gain weight and to regain weight after they've lost it. Just this difference in how active they are during the day outside of the gym and, you know, sports and running, etc. cetera. Um, and I think the, one of the big problems is why this is so underlooked is because it's not going to give you a noticeable difference difference right there and right then you know people are under the illusion almost that unless it's a really hard workout where you're dripping with sweat and you're knackered and you know your muscles are aching for days afterwards it's pointless and it's just not worth doing that's so not true you know all of these small acts can make a huge substantial difference over a long period of time 
and you know the last two videos that I've done has just addressed the incredible uh, benefits of meat and how it can help your weight loss and um, your health. And I also want to make another point that this isn't downplaying the importance of resistance training, aerobic training, because it's not, because they are hugely important. But getting a balance of all three is where you will see the best results for weight loss and health. Now, the problem with knee is that it's the one that's most overlooked. So, you know, like I said before, when people say, be more active, they're like, right, I need to go to the gym more. So I need to do more running, I need to do more weights. They always overlook the knee. okay? It's the one that's overlooked the most. So it's not to downplay resistance training, aerobic training, but it's just to make sure that this knee is up there with it because it will make a huge, huge difference if you can get that in there as well, okay? So there's a final video on knee. The fact that I've done three videos on this should hopefully uh, give you the impression that it is important and it's something that everybody needs to be doing more of for all of the health reasons, all of the weight loss reasons. It's just incredible. And like I say, it's a lot easier for you to add steps into your day and general physical activity than it is to say, right, I need to go to the gym for an extra hour a day, okay? So much easier. You can do 2,000, 5,000 steps around the office without even realizing, whereas if you've got to put a time aside to go to the gym, completely different, okay? So there's the video for tonight, guys. Hopefully you got some value from that. If you did, please feel free to like, comment, and share. Always appreciate it. And the more engagement on the post, basically, the more people it goes out to, and obviously I want to get this information out to as many people as I can, because I want to help as many people as I can. So please do that, I really do appreciate it. If you're not watching this on my YouTube, just be aware, I do have a channel. It's just my name as it appears here, Nathan Bancroft, and basically I put all my videos on there, so it's just a nice, easy, convenient way to see all of the videos without having to scroll through my Facebook feed, for example. Uh, so please feel free to head over there, hit like, hit subscribe. Again, I always appreciate it. Um, thank you very much, guys, for tuning in, and I shall see you in the next video.